what's up YouTube fellas today is September 2nd 2015 a Wednesday I decided to come here down to Willow Grove Pennsylvania I'm going to be fishing a small creek that is not even on Google Maps believe it or not and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some fish from there now I've got a hint from one of my friends, uh, one of my friends introduced me to this place actually and uh, according to my friend, the carp in this spot feeds in a very unusual way, alright? So anyways, let me go purchase some bait first and after I get the bait, we gotta go do some fishing. I'll keep you guys updated. Wait. Thank you! That's what we use our rod for, you see that? Wait. Wait. <laughs> so yes, I'm, I'm going to get some bait first for the carp. No, let's go. I'm like Mike Shout from One Rod One Rule Fishing now. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, we gotta go get some bait at the Burger King across the street. Uh, let's see, come on, come on, light. All right, let's go buy some bait. Right, welcome to Burger King. I actually do love to eat Burger King. Not gonna lie to you guys. Hi, how's it going? Can I have an order of large fries, please? Sure, anything. That'll be all. Thank you. Mm-hmm. There you go. Out of three. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. No, I'm good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Get out of here. We got ourselves our bait. Yes. Goodness, man. 250. Actually, you know what? 264, man. For some large fries. I think for a pack of night crawlers, I pay like what? Three dollars for like 20 of them? Wait. Oh man, this is not cheap at all. Alright, so we got ourselves here our bait, Burger King French fry, and this is actually a perfect size, so that's good. That's what we're gonna be using, yeah. I can eat some too. That's the best thing about it. Alright folks, I'm gonna be using a very similar setup that I always use. Uh, I'm using a size 6 hook with a French fry, Burger King French fry, but all the rest is the same, okay? So I'm still using my Shimano Symmetry 4000 FL with my Syncroid Avid Pearl and 12 pounds Berkeley, Berkeley Vanish Fluorocarbon. As you guys can see, you can actually see all the carp here. So it is almost like cheating, you know, but we will see. Anyways, let's see if we can catch some. Some fish started to attack the french fry already. Oh yeah. Oh boy, they're attacking it. Let's see if we will be able to get a carp to get the, the french fry. Okay, yeah, carp's coming, carp's coming. See, the carp, they, they are attacking the french fry. The sunnies are attacking the french fry right there. Let's see if the carp will be able to eat it or not. See, carp's coming, he's looking around. Kind of saw the french fry, another carp came. See that, see that? The carps are roaming. Whoa, 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 my french fry's still there. But you see, one of the carps already attacked the french fry, folks attacked the french fry no chumming necessary all right i'm gonna recast this and see if one of them gets it or not okay one carp's looking around french fry sunk all the way already Oh, 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 fish on, fish on, 
first carp of the day. <laughs> this is so like cheating, man. <laughs> this is like cheating, man. This type of fishing, folks, is like purely like cheating. See that little carp? All right, awesome run. Oh, I lost it. But all right, that was the first carp of the day. Now the whole population here is a little bit spooked, but hey, we ain't gonna give up. We still gotta go for the french fry. As I said, there you go, folks. Size six hook with one piece of french fry. Yep. Fish on. Carp on the french fry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Small one, but a carp's a carp. They are fighters, man. Clear, the water so clear that you can actually see the fish there, you see? That's the dude who got my french fry. Oh, he's going for the rock. Oh! Don't let that happen. Oh! I almost lost him because he passed the rock, man. Right, come on, this way. Nice fight, man. You know, this is a nice, this is a little neat place to take your kids at, you know. Come on, this way. This way. Carp on the french fry. Awesome fighter. Come on, come here. Now I don't have a landing match, so I just gotta go in the water to get this fish. You know? Come on, come on, come here. Nice little carp, nice little carp. All right. He spooked all the other carp already, but that's okay. Gotta enjoy the fight. Reel this guy in slowly. Slowly. Now we're gonna let him tire out. Whoa, when we deal with carp, you know, we always gotta be careful. All right, it's about tired now. Yep, pretty much. I'm playing by the line now, all right? Lots of energy. Carp fishing, you know, lots of energy. All right, come on, come here, little guy. Come here. All right, finally got our first carp of the day here. I don't really have a landing match, so I'm just gonna leave it on the rock here really quick. All right, we're gonna do a quick photo, quick release for this guy. First carp of the day. Let me get my set of pliers here if I can't take it off. Fish on. Nice. Small one. I'll take it. I'll take any carp or on any french fry any day. Small, small one. Yeah, beautiful, huh? Probably one of the smallest carps I've ever caught, but still, folks, isn't that beautiful? Ain't that beautiful? All right, he's running too. All right, come on, this way. This way, little fella. Yeah, this is to show you guys the carp on the french fry. Right, man, even a fish this small, all right? I'm calculating maybe one and a half, two pounder. 
still runs. Look, wow, awesome strength, awesome strength. Takes a while for it to tire it out, you know. Carp on the French fry. All right, come here, little fella. Come here, come here. Okay, when they see me, you know, they... Okay, he went around my leg now. Come on, come on. Trying to catch it because I don't have a landing match nor a net, you know, so it has to be. Yeah, there we go. There we go, folks. Second carp of the day on the french fry, all right? Not gonna mistreat this guy any longer. I'm just gonna hook it right here if I can and let it go. So come on, hook out. Right, there we go. Gone. Just like that. Second carp of the day on the french fry. Fish on. Third carp on the french fry. Oh yeah. Whoo! Small one but feisty, man. All right. They put up a really nice fight, folks. Really nice fight. All right. Anyways, let me do a quick job in releasing this fella here. Oh, I don't want to take too long with this guy, you know. Come on, come on. Come here, come here. Yeah, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, fella, that's it. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, take it easy. Take it easy, carp. All right. Oh, almost got it. There we go. Third, third carp of the day. Pretty black, too. Let's unhook it in the water. I don't have a landing match or anything like that. All right. Beautiful, third one of the day, all french fry. I'm gonna keep using french fry. I've been here only for a little bit. You know, as you guys can see, very clear. You can see the fish swimming here. I may do some multi-species, you know, and see what else is inside here in just this little puddle of water here. You know, the carp are all spooked anyways right now. So I may put a smaller hook on See if I can catch some other types of fish and go back to the French fry later. But yeah, three carps on the French fry, biggest one probably around three pounds. You know, that's that's already awesome. All right. Okay, let's try to catch some other types of fish now. All right, first fish of the day on a trout magnet. I mean, first fish other than a common carp. This is a green sunfish. All right, yep, green sunfish, Lepomis cyanellus. I'm doing some micro fishing now, see if I can catch some different species of fish. All right, there we go. Big mouth, yellow traces on the caudal and the anal fin. Blue marks here, little mark on the operculum. This marks on the body, definitely a green sunfish. Let me take a photo of it. This is the second species for the day, other than the common carp. Quick photo, quick release. One more photo. There we go, folks. Beautiful little fella, huh? Back in the water. Second species of the day. Right, what is this? I saw that this fish is a little bit different down there. So, what are you? Aha, we got ourselves a creek chub, folks. Beautiful, beautiful creek chub, too. All right, this is micro fishing at its best, man. 
beautiful, beautiful Crick Chub. I don't remember what is the species name for Crick Chub. Was it Sematilus corporalis? Well, I don't remember, but there we go. Third species of the day. We got ourselves here common carp on the French fry, green sunfish on the trout magnet, and now we got a little Crick Chub, all right? Beautiful, beautiful colors. If you guys can see it on this Crick Chub, it's going back to the creek. Yeah, there we go. Black. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's see if we can catch one more species and make it four species so this video becomes a multi-species video. Let's see. Fish on. Fourth fish, fourth fish on the French fry. Yeah, nice. It's giving me a nice run. Yeah. Carp on the French fry, brothers. Let me get it out of over that area because that area is my catching area now. I'm pretty much on the right side of it. No. Nope. All right, there we go, beautiful. Even small carp like this, like I said, you know, they fight awesome. And folks, nothing beats the top bite, you know? Carp top bite is, is amazing, I would just say it this way. All right, let me punch this carp my way. I want to release it as soon as I can. powerful fish take it easy carp take it easy and you know you think a small creek like this or better saying a sewage runoff you know the fish wouldn't be strong man these carp they fight all right they fight they fight really good all right okay come on come here come here fish Yep, I want it to be in front of me. Come on. Come on. Whoa. It's getting almost there. Almost, almost. Can pull it by the line already. Alright, there we go, little fella. Nice to meet you. My name is Leo. Alright, I will release you real, real soon. All right, there we go, folks. Carp on the French fry. All right, I don't have a landing mat. Let's... All right, fellas. Fourth carp of the day, all right, on the French fry. As I've mentioned, nothing big, you know, but still, amazing fish, amazing fish. All right, all right, there we go. And it goes away to live another day. In a place like this, it is crucial to release the carp, all right? Because seriously, in this little place that I've observed so far, this is the only place with fish. So if someone comes here, you know, and take all the fish out of here, then there's not going to be any fish for anyone left to fish in the future, you see? So yeah, folks, that's why I always say, you know, CPR, support, catch, photo, release, all right? Selective harvest, places like this, you know? Try not to take fish. Look, there's only this little space for you to fish at. And it's beautiful, it is gorgeous. I encourage 
anyone to come down here to catch some carp, all right? Clear, you can see the fish swimming. You have an awesome topwater bite on the french fry, <laughs> all right? Anyways, back to the multi-species fishing, all right. Fish on. Carp number five of the day on the corn. I mean, corn on the French fry. Hell yeah. Come on, get out of my French fry chum right there. <laughs> Man, going, going high, going light on this fish, man, is, is an awesome feeling. Gotta tell you that much. All right, come on, little guy. Awesome fighters. You know, awesome fighters. Although I gotta tell you folks, uh, all the carp that I've caught here so far, all of them have some kind of disease on them, all right? So I don't know, I can vouch for good qual water quality here, okay? Of course, it is evidence that they can survive here. But as I've mentioned, you know, all of them got a disease on them, okay? So anyways, I, I talked about not harvesting them because this is a small spot, you know, even if they were bigger, I wouldn't harvest them anyways to eat. I don't think they're edible, okay, with all those marks in their bodies. Okay, come on, come closer. This guy is putting a fight here. Come on, come on. Come meet Leo for a second. Come on, come on, come meet Leo for a second. Yeah, there we go. I can see you already. All right, little fella, I know you're tired. Let me take this hook out from you, all right? Yep, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll take good care of you. All right? This is what happens when you have a, when you don't have a landing match or a net, all right? Just try to take them out the hook out as soon as you can all right so there we go let's see all right there we go okay ready to go carp number five of the day when you're ready buddy when you're ready yeah beautiful Whew. all right this french fry technique is working here five carp so far a couple green sunfish one creek chub Hopefully we'll be able to make this video into a multi-species fishing video. All right, I'll be back if I catch more fish. So the fishing pressure here is so low that I will try to catch a fish now without anything on the hook. All right, just the hook. Let's see if I'm able to do it. All right, let's see. Okay, they, they are coming to get it. Can you get my hook? Oh yeah. There we go, baitless, all right? I caught a fish without any bite on the hook. This technique that I'm showing you right now, and I am actually going to leave my other video on dapping on the info button above, it is called dapping, all right? Just put the hook on top of the water, like it was some kind of bug. You go to places where fish actually feed on top water, you see? And they come get it because they think it is a bug, but you have to move the hook right on top of the water. It's called dapping. There we go. Oh, all right. It was a technique first described by Isaac Walton in his book, The Complete Angler. All right. Back in the days when fishing pressure was really, really low, this is how people fished for fish sometimes, you know? No bait whatsoever, just a hook, you see? The fish, they are going for it. Yeah, you see, see? Oh yeah. So there you go, folks. If you can master this technique, you know, sometimes it can really save your life. Why? Because not always you have bait, right? So there you go. Yeah. Oh, all right. Aggressive little fellas. So there you go, fellas. Dapping. All right. D-A-P-P-I-N-G. No bait whatsoever. All right. Back to fishing. Pinpoint accuracy. Fish on.
like I said, pinpoint accuracy, man. I knew that that was the spot where they were coming up for the french fry. Yeah. That's number one. Five or six, I don't even remember. Yeah, little carp. Lots of fighting edge. Beautiful fish. Let me go to this side as always. So, you, as you guys can see, I'm feeding them on that side and I'm fighting them on this side. Why? Because like I tell, like to tell my friends, every time you catch a carp, first thing you do, get them far away from your chumming spot, all right? Of course, of course they will spook all the other fish around for a little while, but you know, it is worth it to get them far away from your chum, just so you guys know, okay? All right, come on. Beautiful, come here. Let me unhook you. And I don't know if you guys also noticed or not, I try to do my hook set really, really quick. Uh, you guys don't see it in this video, but I missed more than 10 hook sets today. And why I try to do that? Because I don't want the carp to swallow the hook, okay? That is very important. Of course, I would cut my line if the carp swallows the hook, but I would prefer if they don't, you know? That's why quick hook set, so you don't give the carp enough time to, you know, inhale that french fry that will go deep into its stomach, okay? One last hook to deal with. All right, come on. You're almost right. Play by the line now. Yep. You no, know, let it run. Play by the line. Getting there. This fish is getting there. I'm always playing them by the line. See? When you play them by the line, they get tired a little bit faster. You don't put pressure on your drag, so you actually preserve the drag of a reel. Just do an H motion. <laughs> All right, see, an H motion. They will swim this side, pull it back. They will swim that side, pull it back. An H motion, so they get tired real fast. You don't waste your drag system. And you see, you can get them right to your feet without a net, without a landing mat. If I had a net and a landing mat, it would be much, much easier. But as you guys see, I don't have one, so I have to use my hand. Okay, come on, come on, baby. That's it, whoa, all right, one last run. Come this way, yep, come on, come this way. This way, this way, this way, fish. All right, I got it, I got it. Almost got it. Sometimes can get a little complicated to get this fish. There we go. All right, carp number, I don't remember if it is six or seven. Like I said, I don't have a landing match. You know, fundamental would be to handle this fish with wet hands and have a landing match. So, you know, you can land this fish, unhook it real quick, give it a weight in and let the fish go. I may have to get my set of pliers to unhook this one. We'll see. Be back when I release this fish. There we go. I want to keep the fish outside of the water for as short as possible. So I finally gave up. I went there, got my pliers. All right, there we go. Hooks out. All right. Wet hands always to handle this fish. All right, come on. Okay, all right, we're ready to go. Oh boy, it's a good day. Top water bite, you know, on the french fry. Always a good day here at Willow Grove, Pennsylvania.
perk chub are getting a little bit bigger, right? Perfect size for bait. Let me give you a closer view of it. Fish with beautiful, beautiful colors. All right, crick chub. Yeah, there we go. But I already have plenty of crick chub, so. Oh, I see a fish there that is a little bit different. Seems to be a white sucker. Let's try to get. All right. Green sunfish is getting a little bit bigger as well. This is probably the biggest green sunfish I've caught here today. All right, you guys can have a closer look. The Polmicianellus, beautiful sample. Okay, let's put you back, little fella. Let's see if there are any other species around here. All right, this is probably the biggest crick chub I've caught here today. All right, beautiful sample, beautiful colors. <laughs> A greedy little fella. All right, you are ready to go. Go back and reproduce, create more crick chubs in the future. Fish on. Whoa. All right. Little carp on the trout magnet. I'll take it. Very small. Well, over here, I'll need to yank it up. So there we go. Small, small carp on the trout magnet. Very thin, too. All right. Quick release. Quick unhooking. Quick release. Small carp, trout magnet. on oh yeah another carp on the trout magnet small one you know this small carps you know they're easily fooled <laughs> it's like the broader of the previous one all right very small common carp beautiful fighters all right trout magnet all right go where you belong bro Whoosh. What, this makes like, what, eight, nine carp today, but all small, nothing bigger than three pounds. Actually, I would say nothing bigger than four pounds. I didn't measure any of them, but, you know, in terms of sizes, I would say a four pounder top. I'm still using a size 10 hook with a little trout magnet. Just let it sink naturally. You know, it's going well. No other species so far, though. All right, fellas. I explored this little runoff all the way to here and you know this tree is blocking me so now I, I can't really go any further so I have to start walking back but yeah le in each little place I was actually pretty surprised that you know there there are no other types of sunfish here I only caught green sunfish so you know no bluegill no pumpkin seed right no red breast sunfish I was pretty surprised about that, you know, it's a neat little place, it has some common carp, which is amazing, alright, it has some crick chub, perfect for flathead, bait, and stuff like that, alright, now I gotta make my way back, maybe catch some more carp, get something to eat, if I don't catch anything else, I just gotta call it a day, alright, we'll keep you guys updated.
fish on. Took a while, but finally went for the french fry. Get out of the chum carp. Yeah. Nice. Uh, all right, another small one. I'll take it. Come on. All right, on the grass. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. All right, another carp on the french fry. Quick uh, unhook. All right, there we go. Nice little carp on the french fry. This is number nine or number ten for the day. I don't even know. I'm not counting anymore. There it goes. French fry here. We're going to do a little bit more of french fry fishing. Wacky rig, a nice French fry. <laughs> Even though, you know, this French fry is not going to sink. It's going to be on top. All right, cast right next to the border. There we go. Perfect. Oh, vicious. Vicious. Get it, get it. Come on. Come on, right there. No, you missed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, there we go. Get it, get it feeding frenzy now oh yeah oh yeah oh man they are attacking it who's gonna get it who's gonna get it did anyone get it did anyone get it nope but there are I can't even see my french fry anymore there sinks you know fish on I was going to say that after it sinks, they go on a feeding frenzy for those french fry. Oh no, he's going to the other side of the rock. Turn. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to take my time with the spell here. Uh, take a sitch here on the rock. Lazy fishing. All right. Come here, little fella. You wanted the French fry so bad, didn't you? All right, come on. Let me turn the camera down a little bit. You guys can actually see the fish. There we go. The culprit went to the top of the water to get a French fry. And a nice size too, you know, compared to the other ones we caught today, right? Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm kind of playing it hand line now. I don't want my drag, you know, like I said, if I can avoid working my drag, I just keep them on the H motion. You see, they run to the right, run to the left, run to the right, run to the left, right, yep, then I call that the infinity motion. And this is exactly what we want to do, so they can tire, you can tire them out, you know, they don't gain ground, you gain ground. And you save your drag the trouble, you know. Gotta go easy on the hand line though. Very easy on the hand line. You know, you don't want your line to snap at the same time, right? You want to be able to land the fish. There we go. So now he's right on my feet. But gotta, gotta take it easy. Gotta take your time, you know, make sure the line doesn't snap. There we go. I can watch it already. Oh. Got pretty mad when I touched him, but all right. Okay, there we go, buddy. Whoa, all right. Come on, turn this way. Turn this way, come on. Come on, fish. Don't give me a hard time. I'm gonna hook you. Everything's gonna be okay. All right. Wow, he's got, he's still got some energy on him. See, if I had a net, I would have netted this fish already. I don't have a net, I have to play this way. Gotta play safe. Play safe, make sure the fish doesn't get, you know, injured. All right, all right, there we go. Now I finally got this fish. I gotta unhook this fish in the, in the water. Okay. Here, you guys can have a, let me take my line out of here. Okay. Hold this fish nicely so you guys can have a view of it. 
All right, nice one, huh? On the French fry. All right, come on, buddy. You're good to go. All right, see, it swims nicely away. Whew. Nice fight, folks, nice fight. Fish on. Oh yeah. This one gave a splash. Right. They love this French fry, man. They love this French fry. All right, come on. Ugh. Same game. Gonna play this fish over here. All right. I don't know why, but I Whoa, he splashed me all over. I don't know why, but I feel I feel that I've caught this fish today already. But again, I may be wrong, you know? All right, come on. Like I said, you know, gotta make the A motion here. All right, come on. Time to play by the line. All right, I'm finally gaining ground. Finally gaining ground. So yes, there you go. This is my w weird way of playing carp. Run a little bit, hand line, back. Run, back. See, he's at my feet already, pretty much. All right, time to get this little baby here. When you touch them, they usually give a last run here. You know, but they are tired. You can pretty much, you know, Get it up here. Okay, circle it again. Circle it again. <laughs> All right, there we go. Get it between the pectoral. And hook him real quick. Okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Got it. All right, there we go. Nice carp on the french fry. Time to release it. There we go. Whew! That's it, folks. I'm calling it a day. Enough carp. All right, folks, final update. I, I caught plenty of carp today. I'm satisfied for the day. Caught three different species of fish. You know, carpy on the French fry. That's a lot of fun. Uh, don't know if you guys can see it or not. I threw the rest of my Burger King French fry right over there around the rock. They are kind of coming to get it on top of water. Don't know if you guys can see it or not. Oh, there we go. That one just got one. This carp just got one. So you see, they are... Oh, that carp over there. Whoa, he missed it. But he tried to get it. So as you guys can see, very active carp here on top water, all right? French fries will work. Bread will work. Anything that floats here will work, okay? They're actually... Wow, see that one? Mmm, oh my God, so yummy, huh? He got two at the same time. He's coming back, he's coming back. All right, so there you go. I'm done for the day. Caught plenty of carp. Calling it a day. Whew. Time to go home. I will see you guys next video. As always, I am so tired. All the waiting, you know, and all the fighting. Good stuff. Oh, wow, wow. Look at that carp, huh? Look at that carp trying to get that. <laughs> Couldn't get it in the end. Oh, man. But yeah, they're feeding nice. They're feeding nice. All right. I will see you guys on the next video. Thailand.